Oh. Jaya, hello, my bro. Jaya, you know what? Um, let's cut a minute to something else that happened over the weekend, over 420, was a list was published. I'm sure you've seen the list now. It's a black list with gold writing, and it's endorsed with a bunch of the World of Cannabis Museum and heaven knows what. And we didn't know that morning that there was a list. And we get kept keep getting pushed this list on Instagram on somebody's story and we looked at it on a bigger screen a bit later on and realized we would made the list as the Ducker couple of the hundred legends of cannabis and it took the rest of the day for it to fully sink in because it's a big freaking list have you seen who's on this list you know so it took everybody a while to there there's the list it took everybody a while to figure out that it was alphabetical because they thought People were saying, bro, you, you're just underneath Cypress Hill. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and we're not just I mean, underneath yeah. Cypress Hill in any fucking form. Yeah. It's impossible. The tools we've all told you guys, but you don't, you don't often listen to us. You forget, <laughs> it's easy to forget how, how many things you've done for South Africa, you know? <sighs> well, um, it's, yeah. it's an extremely cool list to be on. I'm not, the, I'm not the oldest person and I'm not the youngest person. And the people who voted... Thank you so much. I'm really glad that you did. I know that I know a few people who did, and um, there's been some repercussions. There's been some traffic because of it. There's been people saying, "Geez, look at that," and there's been some omissions. You know, there's people saying, "Well, this guy should have been on, and this guy, and this lady, and everything else." And we agreed. I mean, how could you actually narrow it down to 100 people? But, um, Dan, have you had a look at this list? Is there anybody yeah. you'd put on this list that wasn't on this list? No, this is quite a quite a awesome list that they put together. Um, I've what also is, been going through the list over and over, looking at all the different people that they've decided to add to it. Uh, no, I mean they've got all my my cannabis heroes, all of my cannabis <laughs> idols are <laughs> on this list. So yeah, yeah, it's pretty complete for me. <laughs> that, uh, Buzz, have you seen that you've looked at this list? Is there any glaring emissions in your opinion? No, I'm just amazed that there's a hundred people to put on a list like this, which is amazing. <laughs> really. You know, you know, I don't know if I, I can't see it right now, but you know who I would add on to this is Howard Marks. Yeah, Howard Marks, and somebody actually put Rick Simpson. Yeah. Rick oh, Simpson awesome. set the ball rolling in many ways. Um, uh, neither of the Emerys are on there was another thing somebody said, but that was a Canadian saying it, so maybe it was a bit sort of close to home, I don't know. But we've been, there's been people on our threads and it's been shared throughout and we're really, it's sunk in a bit now as to the enormity of the list that we're on. We don't, it's, it's, it's not a light undertaking this, we're really quite chuffed because um, as most of you know, we probably broke our ass doing it. And there's still a lot to do, of course. Oh, God, there's such a lot to do. But every time I see the president now, he's in fucking camouflage. He's not in like, who the hell are we dealing with here now? I don't know who we're dealing with to do cannabis legalization anymore. It's more like the fucking military now. Anyway, to be on the same list as Sanjay and the Grateful Dead and everything else, it's pretty fucking out there. So, Jaya, if you're still watching, um, you rang us and we were still breathless when you did ring us. And now it's pretty much sinking in and... It's an awesome thing that you're doing to cannabis throughout, buddy. You, you were never going to fit 100 people. It's a 400, you should have put 420, but there's no time. And we understand, and I, it's not up to me. It's just the conversation we're having. But thank you so much for putting us on the list. So. I'm uh, just so thrilled that there's three South Africans on there. I'm just so thrilled to see Tony Baden's name on that list as well. Yeah. Because he also deserves it. Um, we we spoke to Tony about it later offline, and um, we were quite surprised. We were all quite surprised about it. But it's um, it's lucky to have Africa on the on the map about it because you know with them um, things like canopy leaving, canopy growth leaving the whole peninsula altogether and heading out. There's 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 a future here, and there's a there's an epidemic in the way a little bit, but there is a future because everyone just left as usual. And left everyone holding the baby, or or loads of high tech greenhouses. That's we don't know. But um, our next guest tonight, um, our final guest for the night, is Nick Heineman, who Myrtle and I have known for many many years in many guises. But at this point, he runs the Afristar Foundation, 
uh, a permaculture foundation and he's very, very involved in cannabis legalization in South Africa for, for years and years in the background. He's a brilliant lobbyist. He's got, um, he's got the gift of the gab towards Parliament and he's written an op-ed piece, an opinionista in the Daily Maverick, which got published this week about this gap that it's possible that cannabis might have in a post-COVID world. <coughs>